Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to show you something extremely powerful. In fact, it borders on magic. Now, um, what we're going to show you to do is how to improve and fine tune your vocal cords and actually improve um, laryngitis, sore throats, hoarseness with your vocal cords. And this is great for if you're a singer. I've been doing this for the last several years on um, opera singers and Juilliard um, University um, instructors uh, for singing vocal coaches, um, singers, all over the place. And so what you're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this to someone else and on yourself. And here's what happens. Um, a lot of times um, people get laryngitis and then they have to take an antibiotic or take a steroid. And I think that's why a lot of opera singers are very, very large because steroids have a side effect of weight gain. But steroids are adrenal hormones, and the reason why they do work, yet have side effects, is because the adrenal gland is intimately involved with your vocal cords. They have receptors for steroids. So steroids are adrenal hormones. And so what we want to do is we want to give you some natural solutions. Now, this is in no way, shape, or form uh, used to a substitute of treating any type of uh, disease or illness. So I'm not claiming to cure your viruses or your bacterial infections. So that's not what we're doing, but this gives you an alternative. Okay. So let's say you had a sore throat or laryngitis or hoarseness, or you just wanted to fine tune your vocal cords. Typically what happens is viruses um, can come out of remission uh, when you're stressed and lodge into the vocal cords and actually cause the whole vocal cords to shut down to the point where you can't talk anymore. Um, so viruses, you can't kill them because they're not alive. They're a piece of genetic material wrapped in a sack that come out of remission and go back in the remission depending on the state of your health or stress level. So here's how it works. If we go backwards, there's always something that lowered your immune system that made you susceptible to pulling in that virus or weakening your immune system. So there's always a earlier stress event that very few people look at. So we have the stress event, lowered immune system, boom, you get sick or the virus, whatever the cause is. Okay. So we're not treating this stuff right here. What we're going to do is remove the stuck stress that actually lodges in the throat. So we're going to show you how to do this in the next video and um, make mental notes because if you ever have a laryngitis or a sore throat, apply this. And it usually takes about two minutes to improve this. So it, it's very, very fast. It doesn't have to take a long time. And all we're doing is removing stuck stress within the vocal cords, but we're doing it in a unique way. So check this out. Okay, so in step one, what we're going to do is we're going to locate where the person has the sore throat or laryngitis or a tickle or any type of hoarseness. And usually it's going to be right down here by the vocal cords. So you're going to have them point to where it is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line around the back of the neck. So I'm going to actually have you sit this way. Let me move the chair this way here. Okay, good. All right. So we're drawing the line. They're going to point right here and we're going to draw a circle right around the back of the neck right here. And there's usually a little bump right here. Okay. And then you're going to come up about an inch. That's right at the back of the vocal cord. So we're going to take our two fingers, our middle finger and our thumb, and we're going to press kind of down. I'm going to take the other head and stabilize the, the forehead as I press into the opposite part of where their vocal cords are. And the most important thing you need to do and remember is make sure you do not mess up the person's hair. And I'm going to hold this pressure. You can see right here. I'm going to push pressure there. I'm going to hold that for about two minutes. Now what's interesting about when I do this is that when you, sometimes you're going to have to be a little higher up because sometimes their irritation is a little higher in their neck. So you'll start, try to find out where it is. And then when you press, the way you know you found it is it's going to be very, very sore. In fact, more sore than the sore throat. So there's going to be a really a hot spot through here. So you're going to press on the soreness, use pressure to their tolerance, and you're going to hold this for about two minutes. Okay. And then you're just going to ask them when the soreness goes away and then you can stop. Now, if you want to use um, a device, you can use this on yourself or on another person. This is a device that I created, which is a kind of a do it yourself acupressure device. It looks like this. It's a tripod because you could literally put this in the back of your neck 
and lay on a couch or your pillow on your back and let gravity put pressure on your neck. So with her, because her neck is fairly thin, we can use the real small little spaces right here. If the neck is bigger, we can use this right here. So we're going to press right into this spot here, and this makes it really easy to apply pressure. And we're going to hold this for about two minutes, and it's going to be a little sore, so adjust the pressure based on the person's tolerance, and then you're going to ask them when that soreness goes away. And if they have laryngitis, you're just going to kind of test it, maybe have them count to 10 or something like that, and it's going to improve the quality of that voice. If they have raspiness or they or let's say it's a little, um, little tickle. You, the key is having a point to where it is, go exactly opposite, press opposite point and hold this for two to three minutes. And you're gonna apply this pressure at least three times a day for a couple days and that should clear it up. On many cases, all it takes is like one, two minute acupressure to actually clear up the throat. So again, we're not treating the virus. All we're doing is removing the blockage by working on the opposite side of the blockage. So go ahead and apply this. Send me your comments below this blog, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.